and see uh, the judgment of God. The judgment of God has come on California. And we don't know when the judgment of God will come to Amsterdam. Amsterdam deserves judgment because this city has sinned against God. And the church is silent. The church is not standing up to the evil in this city and declaring the word of God. They're staying in the closet while the sinners come out of the closet. But it's time for the church of Amsterdam to go public and preach the gospel. Warn the wicked. In Psalms chapter 9, the word of God says, Okay, let me find it. The Lord is known by the judgment which he executed. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. The wicked shall be turned into hell and all nations that forget God. Arise, O Lord, let not man prevail. Let not the heathen be judged in thy sight. Put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. And you know, this week, Miley Cyrus, uh, her house burned down. Miley Cyrus has a song called Malibu, and it is a song about her having uh, a relation with a man she is not married to. It does not matter if you are engaged to someone or you love someone. God calls it fornication. Premarital sex is not okay with God. It is called fornication. And the very first sin that Apostle Paul called out uh, that would not make heaven is fornicators. The Bible is clear that if you are in fornication, you will not make the kingdom of God. So I'm going to go through that tonight. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators nor idolaters, that would be you Catholics, Orthodox, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, <laughs> extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of God. Apostle Paul continues, And such were some of you, but you are washed, sanctified, and justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of God. So if you call yourself a Christian, you should not continue a life of sin. Because when you become a Christian, he makes you a new Christian. All of you 